Hey guys, it's Jeff Larry North 40. Well, the video you are about to see is an, uh, an update on the Area North 40 uh, property, compound, whatever. And uh, so, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'd said towards the end of the last one that you'd see the next one in about a month and it's actually probably closer to two months later. However, I have uh, been really busy with a bunch of other stuff, um, namely cleaning up my garage. Real clean, right? Believe it or not, it was worth, and uh, I'm not done yet, but there was a whole bunch of other stuff up in that area, a bunch of stuff on that shelf over there. We've actually put some stuff back up there that's going there, and I gotta get some more of this stuff out of here. And uh, some of this other stuff will be going away to, um, you know, donations and uh, Goodwill or, or someplace like that. Uh, and then, the back of the uh, love is full of a bunch of stuff that will just be going to the dump and in a minute i will be burning that pile that's a rocky mountain atv catalog from 2004. why have i been storing this those are both vcr boxes why have I been storing these? But anyway, so that's kind of why <laughs> I've been a little inconsistent about getting my videos out. And uh, so sorry about that. But this is all part of the process to get the house ready for selling so that I can get out there to area North 40 and start doing videos from out there. Hopefully get a shop and all that stuff. It's not going to happen overnight and uh, it's not going to happen at all if I don't get this place ready. In the meantime, here's some more time out at the property doing some uh, cool uh, dirt work, uh, driveway stuff, uh, driving a cool old dump truck and uh, having fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I will have another one out later this week since it took so long to get this one done and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, share it if you like and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and uh, cue the logo. Hey guys, it's Jeff with Area North 40, and I am back at Area North 40. My lovely, beautiful 40 acres of property in northern Idaho. Um, I thought that I'd be up here using my nice old steel chainsaw to buck up more of these trees that we cut down the last time. Um, but so far, that's not what the plan is. Um, see how uh, muddy my tires are? Coming up here, this ground here, when it gets wet, it gets pretty slick. So today, uh, we have another excavator. We rented it. Uh, Brian is going to be on that, uh, digging out dirt from across our street. Our, uh, there's a street, well, it's a dirt road, but anyway, there's a street that runs right through uh, the northeast corner of the property. And on the other side of that, we've got this whole rock wall that's basically kind of like our own private quarry. So anyway, we're going to be digging out of that and uh, we got a dump truck. It's an old 66, I think it's a GMC that uh, my buddy John, the one you saw in the previous video, knocked that tree over. Um, it's his truck. He's letting us use it. And uh, we got the excavator. We're going to be digging and uh, dropping off a whole lot of dirt up our driveway from the bottom. We're probably not going to make it all the way up to here today. Uh, we're going to do uh, a couple days out here. Um, but uh, we, I'm hoping we might get about halfway up and uh, that would be major progress. So you'll be seeing Brian on the excavator and me in the dump truck and uh, just doing some stuff. All right. here we are Brian just drove up and smashed all these little rock piles like this one here this is what I was doing is uh, he'd load me up and I'd dump them off here and then uh, this was uh, number 24 and now he's just 
running them down and flattening them out all the way down. All the way down. So he just basically came up the hill where I'm walking at a, it's hard to tell, but I'm walking at a, a downhill. So he just flattened them all out there and uh, he's going to go back and forth on it and spread all this out and that will help the driveway be a little bit more rocky and traction-y. Unfortunately, I don't have the money and we don't have the money to, you know, pave this thing with like asphalt or something, maybe one day in the future, but that would cost a lot of money. So we're doing it with the rock that we actually have for free. So most of our property is over that way. And you can see that most of that's cedar right there, but it's all, we don't want to take any of that stuff down. There's a, actually a pond down through there. But anyway, this side here, those are some nice big pines, but pines don't bring as much money. Um, but anyway, uh, we're pretty close to the uh, northeast corner. There's a marker up the hill a little ways there. Um, but yeah, this is where the guy that did our driveway brought or, or took a lot of this rock for that little land bridge I talked about in the previous video. And uh, so, hey, why not grab more of it to uh, actually lay down on the driveway? Right, guys it's the next day you can tell it's the next day because I'm wearing a different shirt and even different pants I might change my shirt to make it appear that way but I would never change my pants so it really is the next day anyway uh, we're back up here at the property and uh, uh, can you see that little dump truck over there I showed it uh, I, I think I put some stills in the video at this point um, but anyway that's what I was driving all day yesterday and I got it warming up right now I'm about to do it again that thing has no brakes. And when I say no brakes, I don't mean they're bad. I mean the pedal goes all the way to the floor and you have to pump it about eight times to get anything at all. So I think the master cylinder's gone bad on it, but um, we don't have time to fix it. So I'm just gonna have to drive sketchy for this one. Um, but you can see the dirt down here. Well, let's get a little bit closer. Uh, everything that we did yesterday, we're basically gonna do the same thing today and maybe hopefully get a little bit higher up. Um, into this area that I'm on right now, but got about half the, the one half of the driveway done, 24 loads in that little truck to get that much gravel. Um, we don't have a shortage of gravel, we just have a shortage of a big dump truck. <laughs> so, but this one's doing great and it's John's and we completely appreciate everything he does for us and letting us borrow things and uh, all that. So anyway, let's walk up this way a little bit. So Brian has uh, been busy this morning already uh, uh, getting a little bit more of a grate on this stuff. Um, so out here uh, in Kootenai County, Idaho, they have a rule about driveways. They can't be more than a 10% grade. So this is, uh, it's got some steeper areas, but none of the areas are anything more than 10%. And that's uh, a fire code, I guess, so that if the fire department had to get up in here, they can get a fire truck up in here. So once we lay this gravel down, it'll even be that much better because I actually have some good traction. There's Brian's Harley over there. He's already got a few odds and ends out here. He's building this awning here to keep everything dry. I don't know if he's gonna get that done this weekend though, but that's his stuff. So, oh, let me get a closer look at that uh, well. I showed it in the previous video, but really couldn't see it too good. But yeah, that right there, that's the cap. That represents about $24,000, yay. But well needed, <laughs> pun intended. All right, so this is what Brian's been doing. He's been taking this up. I drove my truck up here yesterday and uh, it was pretty slick. I actually had to, my tires got so gummed up with this sticky, muddy, snotty stuff. I actually had to put it in four wheel drive even though it's really, I mean, we're going up a little bit of an incl incline, but it's not that steep, but 
So that's what's going on right now. Brian's just getting a little bit of this stuff done. I'm not sure how much more he's gonna go, but fairly soon we're gonna get back over and start getting that gravel and uh, doing, doing more of the, eventually we gotta do the entire thing. So I don't know. He says we got enough gravel over there in our little private quarry. <laughs> I'm a little skeptical, but you know, he's the excavator operator. He knows better about that stuff than I do. I think he might even be trying to uh, get a little bit more width as he uh, scrapes some of this stuff off to level it out or smooth it out, I should say. I think he's actually probably, uh, there's where he's at right now is a little bit of a narrow spot. So I think he's gonna try and get that to be, you know, a little bit wider. Here he comes. And here I go. All right, I'm gonna head back down to that other truck. He's gonna come down and uh, we'll get started on that. Um, uh, let's see. Hey, there's better lighting. Look at that, use the natural lighting, right? Except for that you're looking at a face that's very tired. Even though I was just driving a dump truck all day yesterday, with that thing not having brakes and being so sketchy, it uh, kind of wore me out. So I'm not the young man I once was, like Brian. So, and Brian is a good man, by the way. Um, I'm very appreciative about everything he's doing because he's kind of taking the lead on this, um, mainly because he knows how to run an excavator. I'm sure I could figure it out, but he's actually a professional. So we got lots to do out here, but I'm having fun. Even though I'm beat up and sore from yesterday, I had a, a fun day doing that. And uh, so we're gonna get after it. And got one more day, I gotta head back home tomorrow, but uh, I'm gonna try and get out here about once a month and maybe do at least a little something. And, uh, and I'll try and update as, as I can, anything uh, cool and interesting. And uh, when I get a chance to uh, do more uh, trail scouting, I'll, I'll get a mount for that little mini bike or whatever I take with me and uh, bring you along too. All right.
All right, guys. Well, that was a uh, long and hard day's work. Um, my camera fell over, and then uh, I, f I didn't pick it up right away, and it ended up dying anyway. But we did a lot today. Right over on this side, this is the upper part um, that... The, at the beginning of the video, Brian was kind of smoothing this out. This is where I ended. Uh, I've got 11 piles here, and then down below where I was, you know, dropping them off, there was 20 down around the corner over there. Um, so, anyway, that's 32. We got 24 done. So we beat our record yesterday, <laughs> not that we're keeping score, but we got uh, uh, 32 uh, piles of rock and dirt delivered to ourselves. And, uh, you know, it takes a little while. There's a bit of a turnaround. Um, and that old dump truck, boy, I got to tell you, that thing is really cool and neat, but without any brakes, it is sketchy. And then the starter is also kind of giving us fits every now and again, or about every third or fourth time when I try to start it, it just kind of makes that crazy sound. I had to literally uh, bump start it in reverse. So that was fun. It's a good thing it's a manual transmission though because I wouldn't be able to do that. Anyway, um, so that's what it looks like on this side. And uh, I've been, I did have a chance uh, before we got started to run this little mini bike up. And uh, I was trying to find our uh, Southeast boundary um, and I couldn't find the marker, but I was deep up in there. So I'll uh, put a picture of uh, the aerial view of where I think I was and uh, and all that right here oh, And then what I'm going to show you next is over on the other side and show you how much of that uh, area we were pulling the rock out of uh, how, how much we dug that thing out because there's uh, quite a bit of the hillside gone now So I'll show you that right now. Oh Told you Okay, so this is about where we started yesterday. I mean, all of that was taken out for that uh, driveway that our uh, friend Jody did um, when he made the driveway and the bridge across, but, um, and he had taken most of this, but you can kind of see the new scratch marks there. That's where Brian started pulling stuff down yesterday. And uh, we worked our way all the way back and all of this up here, you know is all stuff that he was doing so we worked our way through all of this all the way back to here and he had it dug down that's about uh two and a half three feet down from where my feet are right now um and uh but he was actually hitting really hard stuff and the excavator we had uh it was having a hard time breaking it up anymore all this is a uh, shale rock and that kind of breaks up pretty easily um, if you're not familiar with it, don't feel bad because I really <laughs> don't know much about it either. I've heard the word, but I don't know. I'm not a geologist. So anyhow, uh, so he kind of has a little bit of a pit here, and then he kind of pushed some of this stuff back this way and started pulling some more from over here towards the end. But uh, yeah, that's, that is a lot of work for a couple dudes, a small excavator, and a old dump truck with no brakes but um if you look up that hill my property still goes a ways up there i don't know if i can see any uh i don't know if i can see any boundary markers but let's come over here and take a quick look i don't have a whole lot of memory left on this card so hopefully it doesn't run out before i wrap it up there is a little bit of a trail that goes up in that way and Basically about as far as you can see up in the trees just a little bit beyond that is a line that kind of goes uh, east west up there and uh, but Hey look a little chipmunk. Hi little chipmunk. Hello um, See it wasn't a squirrel this time. It was actually a literal chipmunk Anyway, the road down here is the one that like I said cuts through the property and that goes and it kind of curves that way so my property line goes in a line directly east and west and that kind of goes diagonally so this part of the property has a little bit of a wedge shape going that way but this side is such a steep hill i don't know if you can kind of gather that from the the angle here but uh this is a very steep hill here so there's not really anything we could do with this side as far as building off of 
most of these trees here are pines which look nice um and we're going to leave them that way uh, we'll take out dead looking ones and everything and any that are directly specifically in our way but they look good and they're not really worth a whole lot as far as trying to get any money from logging them so they're just going to stay right where they're at but anyway there's the main driveway there that's that's the money so it's so weird i actually have a view from my property of my property kind of cool huh anyway all right so that's the update and this is uh i guess part two of the uh area north 40 um project i don't know anyway um so i hope you enjoyed that i had a a few comments already on the video that i from my perspective just dropped but it'll probably be about a month before i get this out um i had some fun you know it, it's it's not the kind of work i normally do i i do electrical work uh low voltage stuff alarms things like that so this is uh getting out there and you know doing man stuff so it was pretty cool and i had fun but i am pretty tired so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i hope you enjoyed the video um please like the video if you're not already subscribed please do so uh, leave a comment uh, let me know what you think i'm I'm loving life right out here, and I can't wait to actually move out here and get here. So anyway, in the meantime, uh, there'll be some more uh, bicycle content, car content, all that kind of stuff coming your way. Oh, and I uh, can't forget, there's also going to be more Carly content. Uh, so she hasn't been in a whole lot of the videos, and uh, she wants to be now. So you'll be seeing more of her pretty face, and uh, so we'll have some fun there. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. See you later.